Hi, this is Scott Gordon coming to you from Core Video Executive Interview Video Series. Here today with Richard Schumacher, CEO of Pressure Biosciences. Pressure Biosciences is a NASDAQ Capital Markets listed company trading under the symbol PBIO. The company is focused on the development and sale of instrumentation and consumables based on a novel enabling technology platform called Pressure Cycling Technology. PCT uses cycles of hydrostatic pressure between ambient and ultra-high levels, up to 35,000 PSI and greater, to control biomolecular interactions. PBIO currently holds 24 issued patents covering multiple applications of PCT in the life sciences field, including genomic and proteomic sample preparation, pathogen inactivation, the control of chemical reactions, immunodiagnostics, and protein purification. PBI currently focuses its efforts on the development and sale of PCT-enhanced biomolecule extraction and enzymatic digestion products, products designed specifically for the mass spectrometry marketplace, as well as sample preparation products for biomarker discovery, soil and plant biology, forensics, histology, and counter bioterror applications. Thank you for joining us today, Richard. Thanks for having me, Scott. Richard, I understand the company has just announced that the Department of Defense has awarded PBI $649,000 for development of an automated high-throughput PCT-based system to help detect highly pathogenic organisms. Can you tell us about this exciting development? Uh, I'd love to, Scott. Um, uh, we develop now uh, a razor razor blade system, a system that uh, is used in laboratories throughout the country and in some countries outside of the U.S. Uh, to break apart samples and release all of the materials inside, like the DNA, RNA, and proteins that are inside of these samples, these tissues and cells. Our systems now are selling well, and our systems are what we call semi-automated, in that you have to manually add the sample. Uh, the system then runs it, processes it, and then you have to take the samples out and move it to the next step. What the Department of Defense has asked us to do first with the phase one, which we completed uh, last year, and now with a phase two grant, is to automate this system so that it can be used for two things. Number one, out in the field where it's portable and can, uh, and can be taken out into the field and uh, perhaps run off of a Humvee uh, or another or a Jeep, and also to make it more highly throughput so you can run many more samples and make it fully automated so that once you add the sample to it, you walk away and when you're done, the sample has been completely processed and it's ready for uh, the analysis that happens afterwards. Now, we're very excited about it because uh, we know that our equipment now, our instruments and consumables now, fill a certain need in the marketplace, uh, but there is a much bigger need for a fully automated system uh, with the help of the Department of Defense in developing this system for them. Uh, we will have rights to all of the intellectual property and uh, rights to the equipment once it's developed, and we expect to bring this out and adapt it, which we think uh, we can do very easily uh, to make it available to the laboratories uh, in the U.S. and the rest of the world. I see. It's, I should add, Scott, that it's non-dilutive financing, which is always nice for shareholders to hear. This is $649,000 that we were planning on spending anyway. It's a very important project to develop this high-throughput system and uh, uh, very appreciative of the Department of Defense uh, in, in awarding us this contract to cover expenses that we would have paid for ourselves. Mm. That's interesting. And uh, that award is on the heels of the company receiving an SBIR Phase One grant from the National Institute of Health for the development of an automated pressure-enhanced system for the routine processing of cancer and other tissue samples with the VA Hospital Network as your partner. Please tell us more about this exciting news. Yeah, that was just uh, just a few weeks ago that we announced that. So uh, here it is in the course of uh, four, five, six weeks, we've announced uh, uh, th close to three quarters of a, or over three quarters of a million dollars in funding between the Department of Defense and the National Institutes of Health. Again, this is a project that we have been working on and expected to continue to work on. This is a phase one grant, and we expect that if the data are good, uh, that we will apply for a, a phase two, which would be upwards of up to a million dollars. There's no guarantee we'd get it, but we certainly uh, uh, expect to apply for this once the phase one is completed. Every histology sample, every biopsy sample in the U.S. is sent down to pathology, 
and almost all of them are fixed and processed in a certain way. There are issues with the way that they are processed now in some cases. Uh, we're developing a system that we believe works through those issues and will give a more uh, higher quality, uh, a better sample that can be used for a reading by the pathologist uh, after this processing. This is uh, based upon our technology and it's based upon pressure. And uh, we're also working this, uh, working this out with our collaborators at the VA hospital network uh, who have uh, developed a number of procedures and, and of course do a lot of, of biopsy testing and reading and uh, using them as our collaborators. We feel very, very optimistic that we will be successful in uh, developing the system uh, that NIH has asked us to, uh, to work on. Outstanding. I want to thank you, Richard. That's all the questions I have for you today. We've been speaking with Richard Schumacher, CEO of Pressure Biosciences. For more information on Pressure Biosciences, please visit their website at www.pressurebiosciences.com.